What's up, everybody? Trey Matthews here. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode from earlier today in which I gave my post-game recap thoughts in regards to the New Jersey Devils' recent win over the New York Rangers. Now, here's the thing. I've been fortunate to go behind the scenes of some New Jersey Devils games. I believe I've been credentialed for about 10 or so games, and I picked up some awesome sound bites. So given the fact that it is the final day in the month of March, and not only that, I already posted the main episode for this respective day, I figured, why not do a clip show? So I hope you guys enjoy today's bonus episode. So buckle up and get ready for some sound bites from the likes of Jack Hughes, Nico Heischer, Tom Fitzgerald, Timo Meyer, and others. Get ready for episode number two of your morning. Your Locked On Devils, your daily podcast on the New Jersey Devils, part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Hi, this is Bryce Salvador, and you're Locked On Devils with Trey Matthews. Elias scores! Oh, Steven stepped up, nailed him. Rodor has got the puck. What a shot. The Devils win the Stanley Cup. Thanks, Ryan. Next question, go to Trey Matthews, Locked On Devils. Thank, thank you. Um, Tom, uh, at the beginning of the year, people were projecting for the Devils to not be a playoff team, and obviously things have changed up to this point of the season, what direction do you see this team heading in uh, to finish out the rest of the year and then come playoff time? Do you think this is a team that can legitimately uh, make a deep uh, run in the playoffs? And what what are the expectations um, uh, come next year when when that time comes? Well, um, I thought we would be a very competitive team this year. Um, I didn't know how competitive. Uh, We've We've come together real nice, nicely, and and uh, going in the playoffs, deep runs. Um, we really been an organization and a team that just worries about today. Like worry about today. We play the Las Vegas, uh, the Vegas Golden Knights tonight. Let's worry about that. Once you get into the playoffs, it's a, it's a seven game series, and if you start getting ahead of the seven games and looking down the road, it's it probably will bite you in the ass. So. Uh, we would be game the game, you know, um, when it comes to that time. And just, hey, we'll, we'll, however, you know, if we play well, we feel like we're a good team. When we don't uh, and do the things that we need to do, um, you know, could be could be a short could be short series. But I'm not really worried about playoffs right now, to be quite honest. I, I'm just worried about how the last 20, you know, 22 games, uh, we really come together as a group. Uh, my final question is, I recently spoke with uh, Bruce Driver, and he was obviously on a, a lot of Devils playoffs teams, and he said, like, uh, they were always, like, underdogs. However, uh, they stuck together. They stuck with the plan. So you said taking it game to game to try to finish out the rest of the year. Uh, are there any specifics that you can elaborate on in order to just maintain that consistency so that way you guys don't fall in the standings and just try to establish yourself throughout the league? Well, um, I think we, we're a very good offensive team. We're a very fast team. I think we're a very exciting team. I think what happens when, you know, we don't play well away from the puck, the games become track meets, and that's just a back and forth, and that's not playoff hockey. Teams clamp down. They play the right way. Uh, you know, you've seen the teams where some, some games we've had trouble and how they've, how they've played, whether it's just – you know, dropping five guys back and making us go through five guys, uh, dump pucks in, not be able to retrieve it. it, it again, I, I talk about commitment. I talk about connected. It's it's not just with the puck and, and skating up the ice and making sure you're making tape passes. It's when we don't have the puck, are we committed to getting the puck back? And the only way to do that is to play the right way and play on top of them. So that's what I'm looking for for the last, you know, uh, 20, 22 games. And we've done that. But I just want to, we, we all always want to see things uh, more consistent. Thank you, Tom. Mm-hmm. Thanks, Trey. Our next question, go to Christian. And that's not something to be like, like we enjoy that, you know, it's a crazy rivalry. Um, so it's pretty, pretty special how it's like a ton of Rangers fans there and um, a ton of Devils fans. You know, I think there's the one shift in the third after we tied it up where it's like, out, they're just screaming, you know, like you don't even know what they're saying. So. 
yeah, that was just like representing Jersey, I guess, a little bit. Jack, uh, I know the World Juniors uh, just happened. How excited are you to potentially play with your brother uh, in the upcoming months? Yeah, I'm really excited, you know. Um, glad he's back at Michigan now and, you know, he'll enjoy the next couple of months and then see what happens. But um, yeah, that was a good tournament for him. And, you know, anytime you medal, it's, uh, it's pretty, pretty cool and pretty special. With the way things are going. For the goal, it's exactly what he does. So uh, it's good to see him having uh, uh, the New Jersey jersey. So after tonight, it, you now have uh, seven game winning goals. What is it about your ability to just come up clutch for your team and come through in moments like this? I wish I could answer that. <laughs> I mean, uh, I'll try my best. Uh, any time and uh, if the game was the line maybe I'll have this extra motivation uh, I wanted to help the team win so I don't know I would, would like to answer that but uh, at the end of the day yeah, it doesn't really matter who gets a uh, game winning goal it's all that matters we got the two points uh, so obviously you're having a big season Jack Hughes just for Brad are also having uh, big seasons what are the expectations now that Timo Meyer is added to the mix we already saw him score a goal and seems like he was being productive uh, throughout yeah. the entirety of the game. We came in already without team and had high expectations. So uh, now it's no secret. We want to make those playoffs and we want to make a, a great playoff run. And uh, that's that's our goal. Uh, we have a couple games left here to finish the season strong and to get better as a team. Uh, and uh, that's what we're focusing on right now. But uh, in the locker room, we always had a high expectation. It seems like despite all your guys' uh, success, people still view you guys as underdogs. Do you feel like uh, there's so much more untapped potential on this team and roster to showcase to the world? I don't care what those people say. Um, we focus here in our locker room. Uh, we, we know what we have in here and uh, let people talk and why not? So let's prove them wrong. Uh, hi, yeah, me again. I hate to interrupt your enjoyment of listening to today's bonus episode of Sound Bites. However, I want you guys to make some extra cash while you're listening. So you need to head over to FanDuel right now. So the tournament is heating up and there's no better place to get in the action than FanDuel, America's number one sports book. Because right now, FanDuel is giving new customers a no sweat first bet up to $1,000. That's up to $1,000 back if, in bonus bets. If your first bet doesn't win, just go to FanDuel.com slash locked on and sign up today. To claim your no sweat first bet then you can wager on everything from the money line to point spreads to which team will be cutting down the net all on an app that's safe secure and super easy to use so don't miss your shot at the no sweat first bet up to one thousand dollars when you join fanduel today just go to fanduel.com slash locked on to sign up make every moment more with fanduel please remember to gamble responsibly and visit our friends at locked on bets for all your betting needs there as well all right let's get back to today's episode of sound bites from my time of being a credentialed media member for the New Jersey Devils. Hope to go back someday, but for right now, take it away once again. Uh, Jesper, you were able to score. Heesha was able to score. Hughes was able to score. Um, and it seemed like you guys had a lot of fight back. How satisfied with, were you with your overall team effort? Yeah, no, we we're, we're definitely did some good stuff, and we're definitely taking away the, the kind of comeback that we did in the game. And, um, kind of the pushback that we had uh, late in the game and um, obviously it's um, always good to get uh, guys like that on the board for, for confidence moving forward so uh, it, was, it was a lot of good things in the game and we just got to focus on focus on moving on on the next game. Work on to uh, better yourself in the next game. Well, we'll take a look at it on um, the next practice day. Uh, take a look at the videos and, and see what we can improve and uh, there's definitely small details in the game like um, in the neutral zone to not feed the other teams any offense and um, staying in our decent structure, not not give up the um, the box up plays when they they scored a scored a goal off of that late in the end when we lost our box up, and that's going to be a key factor going into next game. Thank you. Thank you better. Great chances yes. too, and uh, yeah, score goals too. So you described uh, how you scored the goals, but what was the overall feeling like? Because both of them came toward the end of period number one and period number two. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, 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 yeah, I don't know what to answer that really, uh, but uh, uh, nice to get the goals and the win for sure. So obviously you had a productive night, and and uh, obviously with the acquisition of Curtis Lazar, there's going to be some much, there's going to be more grit added to the bottom six. And with your night, do you help to do you hope this uh, carries over into the, as the season uh, progresses toward an end? Uh, I mean, uh, I I sure hope so. Uh, 
something I want to do uh, be, be a productive guy so uh, for sure keep uh, hopefully it keeps coming we'll uh, just keep moving in the right direction I know it's uh, unfair to put all the blame on him but is there a concern for Vitek Vanacek uh, given his last few outings we saw him pulled in the uh, last uh, in his last outing against the Colorado Avalanche so how do you go with him moving forward you know I think you first you have to analyze the goals and are they bad goals? Um, uh, when you look at uh, uh, the first one, I, you know, East-West play, there's probably not a lot he can do. I'll have to take a look at the, the last last couple. But all I know is uh, this group has got us to this point. He's been a big part of this group. And he has made big saves that have helped us win a lot of hockey games. It seems like uh, you guys know how to finish in overtime and uh, come up come away with the victory somehow, some way, but does fatigue start to play a factor given the amount of uh, extra time you guys have been putting on? Well, you know, I think we've tried to stay smart about when we practice, how long we practice. Uh, just went through travel, uh, playing three games in, in less than five days. And we're going to have to travel and then obviously play again. Uh, the schedule doesn't get any easier. I think the, uh, the one thing we have is on, on any given night, we can have another line that can step up. Uh, and that has been the strength of our hockey club, that uh, as a group, uh, if it seems like one one line doesn't have it or one deep pair doesn't have it, uh, like there's another pair that steps in and, and gives us a great night. Uh, you know, you look at uh, the Severson pair tonight. I thought uh, Sebi gave us a great game. I thought Kevin, again, played a solid game for us. So, it's really just all about the team. What are some of the things you guys need to work on in order to uh, close out these games? Because we've seen that you guys uh, take the Vegas Golden Knights into a shootout, and now we obviously see you guys take the Arizona Coyotes into the team. Well, I, I'd like to see us finish on some of the really good chances. <laughs> you know, you just keep working on that every day. You're, you go through your drills, you go through your opportunities, you you focus in on, you know, you take the, the look that Nico had, uh, Nico had two breakaways. Nico was in alone that didn't score, but he gave him the one in overtime he did. So uh, goalies are good in this league. If you don't get them to move, uh, there's not a lot of shooting room. So uh, overall, we'll just uh, continue to to try to play our game, uh, sharpen up with some of our uh, puck play that cost us. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you. And then be very thank you, Catherine. Our last question will go to Trey Matthews, Locked on Devils. Thank you. Uh, Curtis, how, how would you describe your game to people who might be unfamiliar with your certain uh, uh, play style? So what can Devils fans uh, expect from you night in and night out? I know you touched on it with Amanda Stein briefly, but I wanted to uh, see if you can go into a little bit more detail. Yeah, I, I mean, it's it's effort based. I'm, I'm going to give it my all in the ice. It's not always me the prettiest. Um, North South style, uh, you know, getting pucks in behind their D good on the four check. Uh, just kind of, you know, I, I take a lot of pride in those character stats. Like I said, those, the contact, the block shots, the face-offs, you know, kind of do whatever it takes to to help get that team, you know, across the finish line. You know, you're always going to get credit for the the grunt work, I guess, but it, it goes a long way. So, you know, I just be hard to play against. Uh, I do feel like I can play a shutdown role. I play that energy role. I can move around. So that versatility, I think, is a big part that always does make me an attractive option to teams, but uh, you know, whatever's asking me, I'm going to do it. But uh, other than that, I mean, it's don't expect too much uh, creativity. Just mean potatoes hockey. Uh, my my final question is: I asked this to Timo Meyer when we spoke to him a couple days ago. But what are some of your goals to finish off the rest of the season? You touched on the playoffs, and how much uh, potential does this team have now that you're um, added to the roster? Because Tom Fitzgerald, uh, like James uh, alluded to moments ago said he wanted to add more grit to it. Yeah. Well, I mean, you look at the team and uh, the boost of confidence that, you know, management's given to bring it in Timo uh, and guys like that. I mean, it, it does wonders for your team. I mean, I, I can't truly say, you know, what this team likes. I mean, I got to be around them first. I got to see what the dynamic is and what the way that they play. I think it's a, a group that cares about winning that, you know, buys into to doing the right things on a daily basis. So I'm going to, you know, just hop on board and be another piece of the puzzle. But uh, ultimately, I mean, when uh, those playoffs start, it's, uh, you know, 
like you said, there's so many ups and downs in betweens that, you know, everything can change. So it's ever stronger mentally, but uh, I want to, I'm a guy that has a lot of fun too. You'll see, I play with a smile on my face. So I hope that we understand that, uh, you know, don't get bigger than the moment, just enjoy the ride and leave it all on the ice. Thank you, Shang. Thanks, Shang. Our last two questions. First off, Trey Matthews of Locked On Devils. Thank you. Uh, Timo, uh, I wanted to uh, welcome you once again to New Jersey. Um, my first question for you is that I you talked about how you've been following with the Devils organization and obviously how good some of the players have been, especially Jack Hughes, Nico Heischer, and Jesper Bratt. Now that you're added to the roster, I would like to hear uh, some of the goals that you have for this team. Like how much more potential do you think this um, roster has now that you're added to the mix? <clears throat> Thank you. Um, yeah, I think the the goal for me is obviously, uh, you know, you you want to get to know your teammates first. And then I think, you know, for this for this team, uh, you know, sky's the limit and you just try to, for me Percy go go in there and 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 start working and and that they, they got a great thing going so you know the season gets gets harder and harder and you got to be able to to raise your game at this time of the year and uh, you know teams you know teams are loading up teams are getting better so I think this is this is the best time of the year coming up but closer to the playoffs and then obviously the playoffs so that's where you know the best comes out of, out of teams, and and you got to be able to the race of these occasions. So I'm really looking forward to you know face that challenge with this new team and and you know a super super talented squad. And uh, lastly, uh, obviously there's been a lot of discussion as to where you'll play uh, amongst uh, some of the lines. Uh, has Lindy Ruff uh, reached out to you in regards to like? who you might be paired alongside with. Obviously, it could be your buddy Nico Heischer, could be Jack Hughes. Do you uh, have any word on that uh, at this point? Um, I've, I've talked to Lindy, but there hasn't been any any chat about lines and, and all that stuff. For me, it's uh, first to focus, to get healthy, and uh, they got yeah so many so many good players. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to play whoever uh, I'm going to be playing with. Uh, I got plenty, plenty of good guys there. So yeah, that's, uh, that's nothing we've talked about yet. All right. Thank you. And uh, once again, welcome to New Jersey. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks, Trey. Our final question, Amanda. Thanks for when the game starts. I had the chance to ask Timo this a couple of days ago, but in your eyes, how much potential does this team have now that he is added to the mix due to his uh, stature and uh, caliber? Well, we just we want Timo to make us a better team. Uh, we're having a good year. We know that we're surrounded by a lot of good teams. Uh, we want to continue to get better. We want to continue to grow as a team. He's a big piece of that for us now. Thank you. Thanks, Lenny. Important thing. Timo, uh, new team, new organization. What were your expectations going into the game? Well, my expectation, like I said, just keep it simple and, and, and work hard and find a yeah get get those two points uh you know, go out there and win the game uh, as a team so i just try to contribute in whatever way i can and, and that was kind of just keeping it simple don't overthink it uh, bring some energy and some physicality in there what was going through your mind when you scored the first goal of the game and your and the thought process is like you you just like scored your first goal as a new jersey devil oh i can't really think that quick so i was uh, just excited and uh yeah, that's kind of the, the feeling I had, definitely uh, excitement, but also, uh, yeah, it's nice to get it out of the way. Going forward, how do you, uh, how are you going to contribute to this team? Because it seems like on that first goal, you were just in the right place at the right time. And it seems like you like to play aggressive, you like to play in front of the net, but at the same time, you know how to rack up the points. Yeah, uh, you want to be uh, good in all three zones. I think that's, that's the most important thing as well. You got to play well defensively uh, if you play like with guys. Like Brad and, and, and Jack, you don't have to worry about the offense. That's going to come if you do a good job getting pucks out of his own and, and defend the right way. So uh, once you're in the O zone, uh, that's where we uh, let our skill take over.